Coming up, Amazon's big move to New York has stirred up a new debate. Plus, Nathan's is serving up a lot more than hot dogs. I've got those stories for you and more ahead on Listen Up. All right, but first, let's do a quick check-in on the weather. It's going to be rainy the rest of today with a high of 56 degrees. Okay, first up, here's why Amazon's big move to the city has some New Yorkers feeling a way about it. The tech giant just signed a new lease for office space that'll house more than 1,500 employees in Hudson Yards. But now, some people are like, dang, did we just take an L? Mostly because the old deal could have brought tens of thousands of jobs and tax revenue to Queens. Okay, but even that was a huge maybe. Still, what do you think? Are you in favor of Amazon's new move or the old one? Okay, up next, in case you missed it, hundreds of New Yorkers slept in Times Square for a really good cause. It's called the World's Big Sleep Out, and it's where residents from major cities around the world spend a night out on the streets to help fight homelessness. Homelessness has always been something that really touches me um, back in Paris, and especially since I moved here in New York. Okay, next, Art Basel is going down in Miami, and all anyone can talk about is an overpriced banana. Here's why. A New York-based performer ripped off this $120,000 work of art. And, well, he ate it. Nathan's is serving a whole lot more than hot dogs these days, so we've come down to the original in Coney Island to learn all about a very special New York collaboration. Pat, it is so nice to see you in the place you grew up. This is where La Freda Meat started. Yes, so my great-grandfather brought the trade of butchery. All right, that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow on Listen Up.